welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen and together we shall work together with our great leader Mazen Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality he say the Fulani terrorist, Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami, warns Buhari and the Fulani Nigerian government that the Fulani Janjaweed can no longer rely on the United Kingdom and the United States governments for support against Mazen Amdekanu and Biafra. After the two governments that have been helping the Fulani Nigerian government abandoned their ally in Eastern Europe, that is Ukraine, when Ukraine needed them the most after the Russian military invasion, they left Ukraine on their own to fight for themselves. You know, Malami lamented that the UK government and the US government are only supporting the Fulani Nigerian government because of what they are benefiting from Biafra oil. They are benefiting so much. And that is why they are supporting Buhari and his Fulani Nigerian government cries out that they were deceived by the UK and the US government not to be close or not to be friends with the Russian in exchange to remain silent as the Fulani Nigerian terrorist security forces commit genocide in Biafra land. Buhari is now afraid that the Nigerian government may have a big problem because Nigeria may be invaded even by Russia or Israeli security forces anytime from now. Because the two nations are sympathetic with Biafrans and IPOB. And the international community supporting Buhari's government cannot stop Israel. They cannot stop Russia. We saw what happened. Russia entered and invaded Ukraine. And the so-called NATO ally, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, allies, they all folded their hands. They couldn't do anything. They were busy talking about sanctions. Sanction that Putin does not, you know, it's not, it doesn't even affect him. It's not being affected. And that is the same Western nation that are supporting the full and the Nigerian government. This is why Biafrans must come together and, you know, and say enough is enough for this full and the we should stand against them. Because they are terrorists and cowards. They can't do anything. You know, the international community supporting the Buhari government cannot stop Israel. They cannot stop Russia. You know, the whole debacle in Afghanistan shows that the international community is not reliable. Their economic interests supersede whatever alliance or friendship is superseded. And it is a lesson. And now the full and the Nigerian government are scared. They are afraid. Even Russia is against the UK Stooge government, especially in Nigeria. 
And this is making the Fulani Nigerian government to panic. The Fulani slave Biafra Efulefu, Minister of Labor, Chris Ngige, a former governor of Anambra State, and the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, Hopeless Uzodinjo, are deceiving themselves, thinking that praise singing, praise singing of the imposter Buhari will make the Fulani Janjaweed support their 2023 presidential ambitions. They think the Fulani will like them and hand over presidency to them. Praise singing does not help. It won't help them. You know, these so-called Biafra Efulefus are all daydreaming. They are daydreaming because the full and the Nigerian government are only using them to fight against Biafra. Ngege was lying and deceiving Nigerians who have been under serious siege from full and the terrorism and this terrorist Nigerian soldier committing genocide in Biafra land. In Gige now is lying and deceiving Nigerians and the whole world that Nigerians are enjoying peace because Buhari is their president. That Nigeria would have been like Venezuela. Imagine a big lie. Lying to the gullibles. You know, there is no way Buhari would have made Nigeria to be better, security-wise. Because he himself is a terrorist. And he flourishes when there is chaos in a nation. As long as his full and Janjaweed tribe are not affected. He's always happy. Even Buhari knows that Ngige is lying and only trying to praising him and please him. The Fulani lab dog, Femi Adesino, even claimed that the terrorist Fulani bombing in northern Nigeria have reduced because Buhari is the president. In the first place, the Fulani terrorists terrorizing the whole of Nigeria and Biafra land are working for Buhari and they receive orders from him. Also, hopeless who's or danger threatened that no one should pressure Buhari into signing electoral bill. Why won't Usodin Joe make such silly and foolish statements? After all, he never won an election, but was installed by the Fulani Control Supreme Court after coming a distant fourth position, despite rigging. You know, they added the rigging, he still came forth. So they have to use the Supreme Court to give him position. That was what they did. According to reports, troop of 82 Division Nigerian Army said that they conducted operations to clear criminal heavens from where members of IPOB and Eastern Security Network operate at Asia, Osumongu, Lilu Forest, Mbausi, and Uli in Ihiala and also local government area of Anambra State and Imo State, respectively. What a big lie. They have gone to arrest and kill innocent Biafrans and use that to blame IPOB and Eastern Security Network. You know, the full and controlled Nigerian 
compromised terrorist military. They have no job. Their present job responsibility is to demonize IPOB and Eastern Security Network. That's all they are doing now. Instead of them to go and fight Boko Haram and Fulani terrorist bandits, they are busy blackmailing IPOB with childish comments. And when they want to use someone to speak on behalf of the military, they will use a Biafra Efulefu to do that. My brothers and my sisters, the truth is that Eastern Security Network does not have camps in those places mentioned by the compromised Nigerian army. They don't have. Is it the Nigerian military that cannot face a ragtag terrorist full and in Boko Haram that will now face intelligent Eastern Security Network operatives? They cannot. Because if Eastern Security Network operative comes out from their camps, then Biafra will be free. They will be free. It's just that we want to ensure that we get our freedom peacefully. But the Fulani Janjaweed wants a war. That was why Adamu Gaba, a Fulani terrorist bandit, contesting for the presidency of the zoo, he was saying that Africa needs the Third World War the most. Imagine that. That they want their jihad. So they are trying to provoke Eastern Security Network to come out of the camps to fight a war. That is what they are waiting for. But they are failed because Biafra will be restored. No matter what the full and the we does, Biafra must be free. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.